personal shopper follows Maureen three months after the death of her 27-year-old brother, Louis. Maureen works as both a young assistant to a celebrity and a medium. She spends her time between high-profile fashion establishments and the abandoned Louis house in Paris. Maureen, throughout the film, is trying to deal with the grief Louis's death has brought her. She hopes that her brother will honor their oath and contact her from the other side. Midway through the film, Maureen starts to receive strange text messages from an unknown sender who seems to know a lot about her. While many seem to think it's her brother texting, I don't think that's the case. I believe the person that is texting her is Ingo. Ingo is the significant other of Maureen's employer, Kira. Ingo was trying to frame her for the murder of Kira. This is why he tells her to spend time at the house and try on Kira's clothes. He's trying to construct a narrative that Maureen was jealous of Kira and wanted her type of lifestyle. The ending scene seems to be the most confusing thing about the film. It's not surprising when you have an ending like this. Louis, is it you? Louis, is it you? Or is it just me? This ending shows us that the ghosts she's been encountering throughout the film don't exist. They're all inside her head. Pretending that she has seen ghosts is her way of trying to hold on to her brother's memories instead of letting go. The end of the film is her finally accepting the death of her brother and realizing that everything she has seen throughout the film was just her imagination trying to give her hope that her brother was trying to contact her. Do you agree with my explanation of Personal Shopper? Comment down below if you do or don't. Also, what are your thoughts on the film itself? I've also linked the director explaining the film down below.